They taught me to write numbers on paper. <laughs> well, okay, I didn't really learn it, but you know. They tried to teach me it at least. Uh, yeah. He said, Kafta, that means uh, a jaw great. That means jaw great. But when we say joke great, we mean uh, bullshit. <laughs> but bull is not joke. <laughs> this was improvisation, this was not a joke. <laughs> you can always see when I'm improvising when they don't laugh. <laughs> Except today, because nothing's working, is it? <laughs> so. so uh, raping a midget is like having, having, sorry, yeah. <laughs> so, something small on your cock, if you're male, I will never tell that one again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the key is to say having and having like the same word. So. Gay sex is a lot like uh, role-playing games. Oh. <laughs> if you reach level 90, you're probably a fag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, uh, I'm sorry for going overly offensive, I don't know. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have said three killing rape jokes in a row, but you know. <laughs> Writing jokes is a lot like killing babies. <laughs> if you're a child murderer with no sense of humor... <laughs> I almost got you on this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. you, you probably thought I was a weirdo, but this one almost got you. Yeah. <laughs> Some people think I'm a uh, virtu, and some people think I'm a genius, and my girlfriend's a gambler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Here's one for you, sir. <laughs> you mean they put it for me? Yeah. Why is the hooker masturbating on her birthday? <laughs> Some people buy birthday presents for themselves. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so I like to uh, I like to say Titanic in the cinema, uh, and I cried because I was cutting onions. Uh, it, 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 it's harder than you think to make a vegetable soup in the cinema. To 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 punch a lady is just like going to the cinema. No, no, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. Except if you punch a lady in the cinema, <laughs> <laughs> then it's similar. Yeah. So, have you seen, and one more story joke, whatever. It's not in the book, lucky you, sir. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, will, I will burn it when I get home, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I couldn't masturbate at work until I got a job. <laughs> I went to a spa. Spanish couple sat down next to me, starts to argue and argue and argue. They argue for 20 minutes and then I interrupt the guy and I say, Puedo hablar un poco más lento para mí, no entiendo todos. <laughs> that loosely means, can a guy speak a bit slower? I'm not getting all of this. <laughs> I read this article online, six things you're doing wrong in the bathtub. I only do six things in the bathtub. I was, uh, I was driving with my friends and the cop stops me and the cop says, do you know how fast you're going? 
I said, what took the birthday of cocaine? <laughs> I, was, I was having sex with this girl. She says, wait, I need to hold on to something. And I ask her, hope? <laughs> And uh, if Frank Flintstone was a Nazi, he would say, Yeah, pasta, but you! I will joke here for you. <laughs> to punch a lady is just like going to a cinema. No, no, it's not the same. <laughs> It's not the same at all. <laughs> Except if you punch a lady in the cinema. <laughs> then it's similar. <laughs> if, if babies are so smart, why don't they push their own scrollers? <laughs> I found this book. <laughs> Please everyone welcome to the stage the very funny Creeper! Yeah. Sorry I missed the high five shaking thing. No worries. I wasn't gonna leave you blowing. <laughs> hey guys, finally some people showed up. <laughs> I've been sitting there on mushrooms for four hours and it's been a lifetime. <laughs> and this place has been empty and now I'm supposed to be funny because you show up! <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> I'll try, it's okay. Yeah. See what this goes. Oh, hello there, lady number one. <laughs> oh, you've got glasses. I think girls with glasses are so sexy. <laughs> because they're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> but if you would take them off, I would still find you attractive. <laughs> because I know you need them. <laughs> Hey there, man number two with hat <laughs> and beard. <laughs> I find guys with hats and beard, so. <laughs> but I'm not gonna tell that joke. <laughs> I can try, it's probably not funny. Let's try that. I f hey there, man with. <laughs> hey there, man with beard. No, 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 hats. Hey, there's men with hats. I find men with hats so uh, sexy. Because uh, it's so cold outside. But if you take it off. Yeah. No, anyway. No. That was only improv you get tonight, minus the glasses joke. I've been telling that glasses joke for three months now. There's always a sexy chick with glasses in the audience. <laughs> sexy chick with glasses. Yeah, 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 sexy chick. Last month it was just... <laughs> what did you say? Needy. Needy? Do I need them? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I was... Anyway, this motherfucker with a cap on. <laughs> You're from Iceland, right? Yeah. <laughs> that means this is a hat. <laughs> this guy is dying of boredom. No, I'm talking about you. No. <laughs> Was he talking about the wall? <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, it's really shot on Gisli. We got this in your lights, we'll let you know when it's one minute left, it's like an extra light. No one will notice. Yeah. Yeah. 
And you know you were talking about the electricity plug? Just coming out of the electricity. The fire alarm isn't even working when you take that phone out. Okay, I'll just go. I don't know why I did that stuff, yeah. Okay, I'll just gonna tell you one... Uh, two. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, a story to It's still like, oh, it's like 45 seconds, it's okay. The lightning is okay. <laughs> Here's the joke. Uh, <laughs> usually I say it in like a sequence of jokes, so now it's gonna be weirder because you know I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you guys seen the movie Humor Centipede? Oh, <laughs> what is that offensive? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the movie Humor Centipede? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, to the cinema to see it, and I sat in the front row. That was a bad idea. <laughs> because my back hurt so much. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really my friend Steve's fault because he told me that if you're going to a humor center bit, it's best to be at the front. <laughs> There was this one kid there who had a uh, who had uh, like a Hitler haircut. <laughs> it would have been so cool if your ringtone would be like a Nazi thing. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. You remember that next time you go. Not too silent, but have a Nazi name. I don't even know what the Nazi name is. Hitler is it Dr. Waiter, it's not. <laughs> Hitler never got a song, but. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there used to be a time when you could ask people if they had seen a particular movie and they would answer yes or no. Now, if you ask someone, hey, have you seen that movie? They go, uh, kind of. <laughs> Hashtag thinks a lot, smartphones. <laughs> Hashtag sarcasm. <laughs> Don't worry, there are only 20 more. <laughs> if I were stupid, my jokes would be bad. Tur. <laughs> if everyone would if, if, if everyone would dip themselves in red paint, racists would be confused. <laughs> Racist can be so confused on Halloween. <laughs> Books are like worms. You only put them in your mouth if you're stupid or hungry. <laughs> <laughs> to punch a lady is just like going to a cinema. No, sorry, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same at all. Except if you punch a lady in the cinema, <laughs> then it's similar. <laughs> they were groaning because of me, not because of you. <laughs> I do not recommend the next joke in like a party or something. <laughs> Sorry? I didn't say a word. Is it what? Oh, that's what that sound was. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, now the moment for the bad joke is gone. It's who lives in a hamburger in outer space. Squidward, no pants. Did you skip all it? <laughs> you need two people to wrestle an octopus. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there are two million crockets in America. Odds are that at least one of them is called Crack. <laughs> crack the crackhead. Sometimes I need three shirts for my jokes. <laughs> How do you know a small dog from a puppy? <laughs> do you know that? How do you know a small dog from a puppy? The puppy is younger. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call a baby hater in a hot tub? Hot baby. <laughs> what do you call an immature man in a hot tub? Oh, she got it, yeah. <laughs> Can you read through papers? <laughs> One time I saw a hot baby in a microwave with sexy abs. I thought they spoke. <laughs> I've never seen it before. So these are all the new jokes, I guess. Huh? We're all alive. Yes, yeah, sir. No, it's okay. I was waiting for you. <laughs> Don't worry, just sit down. It's okay. <laughs> I couldn't masturbate at work until I got a job. <laughs> did you get the joke or did you miss it? I said I couldn't masturbate at work until I got a job. Me. <laughs> no, not you. I'm not a psychic, I wasn't talking about you before you entered the room. I haven't even seen you before. I don't even know where you work at. Anyway, this was not a joke, so it was improv, so don't try it in your work. Did you want to Yes, to masturbate and to. to. Uh, I'm afraid it's just erroring because I'm not I'm out of the jokes. <laughs> stop talking, I like you, but stop talking. <laughs> uh, I'm not with you enough to answer you, woman. <laughs> Barely get, you know, whatever you call it. <laughs> and, we, and we put the kids down and we walk our separate way. <laughs> oh my god, I almost killed the kid, I almost killed the kid. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.